Right, uh, let's talk about this question. So uh, we are given a figure in which uh, it says that a, an object is subject to multiple forces that result in the object having horizontal and vertical velocity components as a function of time. And which of the following could represent the situation as a free body diagram? All right, what we notice over here is um, in the velocity time function, if we uh, see Vx is constant, so if the velocity is constant, what is the acceleration? Isn't that just you? And here the velocity is linearly decreasing and we know that the slope is given by acceleration. So for a straight line, the slope is constant and this is straight line is decreasing in nature. So a y should be negative, right? All the constant, it should be negative. So it should have an acceleration. Okay, force is directly linked to the acceleration. So if the net x, if the acceleration towards the x side is zero, we can say that the sum of all the forces towards the x direction must be zero. So it can be situation number A because no force is acting in the left, uh, in the horizontal sense, but it cannot be, uh, but it cannot be A because of the reason that vertical forces are nullifying each other. They are of same length, right? Same length arrows means net the vertical force is zero, but that doesn't make sense because if the net vertical force is zero, the acceleration will also be zero. But for us, the net force should be negative. So it cannot be A. Can it be B? Let's find out. This oblique force, I'm gonna make components. So one right side or horizontal component is going to look like this, and the vertical component is going to look like this. This cannot be the answer clearly because there is a net horizontal force, but we just said that the net horizontal force must be zero, right? There is no one to counter this. So that's not it. Let's talk about this one. So here we will make the component. So it will look like this and it will look like this. Um, I think, hmm, this is an interesting one. Let me zoom this in and compare the arrows now. Um, okay. Yes, okay. Horizontal force is getting zero, of course, because these this arrow is going to two blocks and this arrow is also going to two blocks because we have to stop here. The vertical arrow is going to one, two, three blocks and the vertical down arrow is also going to three blocks. So, no, that's not allowed because the vertical forces are also going to zero. But I want a net vertical force. Um, I want a net vertical force acting downwards, right? So that's not it. Uh, should be D, but let's figure out why. Uh, let me make the component. So this is the component and this is the component. Clearly it's D because these two arrows definitely cancel out each other. And this arrow is longer than the top one. So net horizontal, net vertical forces downwards, which is negative as positive direction is the plus, uh, is the upward. So negative will be downward. And clearly that's what we, uh, that's what we needed, right? That should be our answer.